What happens when Toyota gives a half-ton truck to an independent Texas cattle rancher? And he uses it like a three-quarter ton truck for 100,000 grueling miles. Find out as Toyota engineers get the truck back and dissect the guts to see how it held up. This is Tundra Deconstructed. We basically uh, gave the vehicle to the ranchers to verify that in an extremely severe environment that our test standards would hold up and, and uh, meet their expectations. Well, I'm the foreman or the manager on this ranch. It's uh, 300, almost 300 square miles. We go 16, 18 hours a day. Some days I do 200 miles on that truck. Out here in West Texas, you drive a long way and you go down a road and it's really rough and bouncing and you know, just tremendous vibration. They can blade the roads and they'll be tore up in a week's time. You know, washboarded holes knocked in. If it rains, then they're really a mess. What is a washboard road? Well, it's kind of like a washboard. The Tundra is, is the best truck or pickup that I've ever driven on the washboard road as far as the durability of it. You know, most of them had their front end knocked out within 35, 40,000 miles. You're going to have front end work done on them. So now that the Tundra's been beaten up, what we'll do is we'll tear it apart piece by piece right down to the frame. Anything that was bolted down gets taken off. And then the parts are all tagged and bagged and set aside for the engineers to inspect. You can test an engineer and build something to a certain standard, but until it's used out in the field by people in their everyday work, you never know how it's going to perform. I have no leaks to my hydrocarbon filter. It's all heat stake here, so that looks good. There's no cracks on the bracket itself. The grommets, uh, the rubber grommets aren't split or anything, so it handled itself pretty well. 100,000 miles on the board, like that looks pretty good. One of the things we'll do is we'll actually do a lot of crack checks on the welds to make sure that all the welds held up. We're uh, checking the stress points. Um, basically, we're looking for body cracks, things that you wouldn't see on the surface. No problem. No cracking. This was our uh, tailgate damper. Uh, damper stay. It gives us the, the good opening and closing of the uh, of the tailgate system. What did you think of the tailgate with the, the hydraulic system? Yeah, I really liked it. You just open it and walk off. You don't have to worry about it slamming down or breaking the supports or anything like that. Just open it and don't worry about it. Still is uh, functional, which I'm, which I'm happy to see. You know, it's kind of a shame that we had to tear it down now. <laughs> I'd like to see how it goes a little longer. The interior components actually held up pretty well, surprisingly, for the environment it was in. Uh, my honest opinion is it could go well in the 200,000. Basically, from a suspension standpoint, brake and steering, uh, nothing was replaced on the truck during the time period. Uh, brakes were actually still the original uh, when the truck was brought back after 100,000 miles. We do have the uh, largest diameter front rotor of any of the full-size trucks, uh, bigger than the F-150, Silverado, and the Ram. It's about 30 pounds there. It's just a heavier built. You just don't have anything go wrong in the Toyota. It just holds up a lot more. It's just a better built truck, just that simple.